Welcome to Ultimate DIYer. So have you ever wondered what happens when creativity, curiosity, and a little bit of chaos all come together and collide? Well, you're welcome to my world because that's what happens. So today we're going to talk a little bit about who I am and what the channel is about and what it's going to become. So, first of all, I come from a long lineage of carpenters. My father and my uncles were all carpenters. I have two sons that are electricians, and I have one son who is a school teacher. He's been a teacher for about 10 years now. So, as you can see, it's kind of in my family. We love doing trades. We love doing DIY type things, and we love teaching. So... As I started working on my house back before COVID, I decided I was going to do a little remodel in it. When my wife went to work, I started ripping stuff out. By the time she got home, I had almost every wall in the house taken down and I had most of the floor gone. You would open up the front door and it was nothing but dirt. So that was the beginning. Of course, she wasn't too happy about all of that and threatened to make me sleep outside in my workshop. But we got through that and we have been working on the house ever since. I have literally even taken the entire roof system off, not just shingles, but taken everything down and reframed it, bumped the house out, made it larger. I have replaced every bit of plumbing, every bit of electrical, uh, I would imagine there's only going to be two or three two-by-fours left when I am done that will be from the original house, which was built in 1955. So that's basically how this channel got started. I got about halfway through that and realized I should probably be documenting what I'm doing. And I could probably show a lot of people the tricks and the things that I did to get through this process. On top of everything else, I work as a handyman daily. So I go out and I work on other projects. So I started filming those projects as well. So you're going to see a lot of that actually on the channel. So I have a lot of those projects with my own projects. We're only about halfway done through the house. So you're going to see a whole lot more of that. I've also started going and interviewing other professionals like floor guys, drywall guys, painting, electrical, plumbing, you name it. So we get to see what it's like to be in their world. So if you want to become one of those dedicated professions, you can kind of have an idea of what you're going to be doing and what it's like. So you'll see a playlist for that. I have tried to break everything down in the channel into different playlists to make it easy for you to find. And I'm constantly fine tuning that. I honestly believe that you will never stop learning no matter how old you are unless you're dead. And even that's debatable. This December of 2024, I will be 60 years old and I have done a multitude of different things. So if you want to know about my background, I started out in construction. My degree in college was construction management. I wanted to build homes. The only problem with that is I really like using my hands and I like getting into the middle of everything. I feel like today there is nothing that you can't do because you can find a video on YouTube that's going to show you how to do it. A little bit of information about me, or a, I guess you'd say interesting information about me, is I am so old that when I was a kid, we didn't have things like VCRs. We had maybe one TV in the house. Video games didn't exist. Microwaves didn't exist. Remote controls. Well, yeah, there was a remote control. It was us. You know, the kids had to get up and go change the channels. That was it. And by the way, we didn't have, even have cable TV. We had the antenna TV. And if it was getting bad reception, guess what? We were also the antenna. We had to go hold that antenna and stand there so they would get good reception and could watch TV. 
And by the way, if your dad came home and he wanted to watch something on TV, guess what? That's what we were all watching because you had just the one TV. Most of my friends had only one TV. They were extremely expensive back then. We didn't even have calculators. My first calculator that did nothing but add, subtract, multiply, and divide cost me $160. The same calculator you can get in line for like 49 cents at a grocery store. So a lot of changes in my lifetime. Now, I have run a lot of businesses. I started out at a very young age being very entrepreneurial. I started a landscaping business at 12 years old. And when you say, yeah, okay, well, that, that's no big deal. Would you go just get a lawnmower? No, I bought like four or five mowers, one of them a big brush hog. I bought them all new, saved up my money as I kept working on these yards. I bought all my rakes, my shovels, all of my hand, uh, hand equipment or tools. And I bought all the bags and I went around and I would get yards and I actually signed up a whole bunch of yards and put them on an actual schedule. This is a 12 year old doing this. I did not have a truck, so I had to tie ropes to my bike and I carried all this stuff down the road as I worked. And then I graduated from that into other things. As I got older, I ended up owning a moving company. I owned video stores, music stores. I owned pay phones. For those of you who do not know what a payphone is because you've always had a cell phone, in the old days, if you had to call somebody and you were out somewhere, you had to go put money in a phone and you dialed from there and it was called a payphone. It's a, basically an ancient communication device is what my kids call it today. But I did that. I had vending machines. I have done all kinds of things. So... I have a big background there. And then on top of that, in between a lot of those jobs, I would do other jobs like managerial type jobs, like for Tough Shed, I was a general manager. So we built all the sheds that go to the Home Depots. And that was a very interesting background. And I actually enjoyed that job quite a bit. I also worked as a general manager for Safety Clean. In Safety Clean, you would do all the vats for the automotive industry where they would clean their parts and things like that. And that's just one thing they do. They do quite a bit of other things too. But I general managed that as well. I have actually done quite a few different jobs. I have a big background in sales. I was in sales and HVAC, so I do understand how HVAC works, not only the mechanical part of it and how you install it and work on it, but also how you sell it. So I understand the sales. You will notice on our page, I do a lot of DIY, but I also do a lot of reviews. I love tools. Tools are probably my best friend and have been for quite some time because let me tell you, if you work in DIY, if you work as a handyman, if you work in any of the trades, your tools are basically your store. They're what's going to make you money and they save you time. They do the job correctly. You need the tools. So I do a lot of reviews on those as well. Now, I also review a lot of other things, and I have put those on this page before, but I've decided that on this page, I'm going to try to stick to things that are DIY. You may see some electronics and a few other categories that I feel that may work very well in a DIY situation or someone who is rebuilding their home. And that could be things like Alexa and stuff like that. Uh, I do reviews on like shades and blinds and doors, but pretty much all DIY. I do have another channel that is going to be everything review where I will review pretty much all kinds of products for the home. So look for that channel as well. So I'm going to give you a couple of quick quotes that I live by. So the only way to achieve the impossible is to believe that it is possible. The only place success comes before work it's going to be in the dictionary. Hard work beats talent every time unless talent doesn't work. And the very last one, which I think is probably the most important, is dreams don't work unless you do.
All right, guys, so that's basically who I am in a nutshell, and that's what the channel's all about. There is one other area that this channel's going to grow in that I forgot to mention, and that is going to be the workshop. The workshop I have is built, but it is not completed right now because we are all still under renovation, but it will be shortly. And when that is completed, I will be adding a lot of woodworking projects like cabinet making, etc., into that. So... If you're not a subscriber, smash that subscribe button, hit the like, and leave me a comment, and we will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.